Hello. Good evening. Namaste, everybody. I hope you've been having a great time with the biology series. This is our sixth month into continuous integrative health education series. And the biology series has been really evoked a lot of good response, especially for the non from the non-biologists. And the idea of the biology series has been to educate people who are in the Ayush, the uh, non-biologists into, uh, you know, inspire them to take a research and generate evidence from the yoga clinics, from Ayush clinics. And we have, uh, will soon be showing a new roster for the coming week. And I hope you remain connected. But today we have uh, a very different topic to discuss, which uh, will really interest you. And this particular topic comes from my own uh, deliberations and a meeting in Singapore. And uh, the, uh, the deliberations that were held in that particular meeting uh, led us to get introduced to one of our speakers who's uh, now invited and he, she generously agreed to be with us. Her name is Josie Crane Burrows. She's a, a lady, she's from the UK and now settled in Singapore. I will uh, formally introduce her to you. Uh, of course, as you can see with the slides, she, she's going to speak on crowdfunding for multicentric trials on mind-body intervention. Isn't that quite an attractive and a very, very important topic and very action-oriented topic. So our interactions led her, led her to propose that uh, there should be more evidence to see if we can generate uh, data that can help in the integration of uh, alternative systems with the uh, modern medicine, wherever applicable. But uh, unlike what the pharma industry does to the drug trial and drug discovery, uh, most of those trials are sponsored by the pharma industry. Uh, Josie believes that the studies we do is not only multicentric, but also uh, has no uh, element of sponsorship or a sort of a bias and is crowdfunded. So we'll know what she has to talk uh, Josie began a career in sp as a sports in sports massage in 2007, and uh, she then uh, came to appreciate the wonder of massage, uh, both on the mind and the body. And she's worked in London-based clinics alongside uh, physios, uh, osteopaths, and chiropractors. And after training in more than 10 years of regular yoga practice, she focused on combining her massage training with the time-honored healing tradition of yoga. And she's a trainee and she uh, likes her to be identified as a yoga trainee in training, but she, she knows uh, quite a bit about uh, yoga. And we were just discussing as to uh, how can we uh, even better introduce her. So she mentioned that there is an upcoming field called myofascial release therapist therapy. And so she, we can also uh, you know, uh, welcome her as a myofascial release therapy therapist. So it's a new field and I'm also learning and we'll uh, probably have another session on that if she grants <laughs> her permission. So uh, Josie, this is our program and this audience is for you to talk and discuss and share your views. I will Great. switch off my video camera and it's all, all over to you. Welcome. Okay. Great. Hi everyone, thank you Dr. Akshay um, and thank you for inviting me to uh, come along and, and talk this evening. I'm super excited about talking about this because of the just far-reaching um, benefits that it could have in, um, to the global health industry. Um, I'd want to, I want to start with, um, I should take this down and good job. Sorry, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna start here. It's a it's a quote that I love, and it's um it's by D. H. Lawrence, and I've always been drawn to him because he just got he just got the mind body connection, and he got it a hundred years ago. The you know we've got it we've. The, the yogis have had it for you know thousands and thousands of years, but he he also understood a hundred years ago that um, we need that harmony between the mind and the body. Um, and I'm just going to read it. Life is only bearable when the mind and body are in harmony, and there is a natural balance between them. 
and each has a natural respect for the other. Um, I love that. I think it's it's so powerful and um, and we've forgotten it. I think we've forgotten to to bring that harmony um, within the mind and the, within the mind and the body. Um, and it's created a great disconnect um, in the world, which is which is a huge shame. Um, but mind body interventions, I think, is the way forward, and it's and it's the way that um, we're going to help bridge the gap between the mind and the body again, and and bring them as one. Um, so, um, as Dr. Akshay said um, on on um, a talk at the International Conference of Integrative Medicine recently, um, a lot of a lot of the a lot of the issue is is around not having um, enough funding for large scale clinical research to go ahead. Um, and unless we have that, we're never going to be able to challenge the state the status quo and get insurance companies to start um, covering um, mind body um, interventions, MBIs. Um, but it's also highlighted the fact that um, we really need to do something now. Chronic diseases are growing rapidly. Um, and with the, the global pandemic currently, um, I don't think there's been a better time to just grab hold of this and 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 challenge the status quo and, and, and just get us looking after ourselves better and promoting wellness, basically. Um, and ultimately just working towards a healthier, more grounded and vibrant world. So that that is that is that is the hope. Um, so what is the solution to that? Um, my idea is crowdfunded research, but a two-pronged approach. Um, there are so many, there are so many people who believe in mind-body interventions, not just people who work in the industry, um, but the public. The public, um, I think, will get behind um, something for the greater good, such as this, because we 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 just we just need to live in a healthier, a healthier world. So my idea is is a crowdfunded approach um, for integrated health, integrated health, and we leverage the support um, from ind individuals across the entire globe, um, both professionals and, and members of the public, to back a large scale multi-site um, trial. Um, alongside that, we simultaneously run a global campaign, and the idea that um, I have thought of is is something called in our hands because um, we would be effectively putting um, the funding into the into the hands of the people um, and you know, it's just about taking taking our health back into our own hands as well um, and so while the crowdfunding is going on we run this campaign and we just promote the wealth of information that we already do know about um, MBIs um, and put it out there to the public um, so we encourage people to um, to just live better and, and take on better lifestyle choices. Um, and there really hasn't been a more pivotal time um, to, to do it. So um, it's a, yeah, the idea is a two pronged approach. Um, so what do we need to do in order to get there? So we need to set the scene. We need to um, define the research study scope and set the parameters. Um, we need to decide which MBIs um, we'll look at. Um, do we look at can the, the traditional like Tai Chi and yoga? Um, or do we look at the more modern ones like white like Pilates with a combination of lots of things? So just it's, it's, it's um, uh, just understanding which MBIs we're going to be looking at and how much we need and how long the, the study will run for. Um, and then just a and then if we're if we're working in multi multi sites, it's about establishing those global science teams, but also fundraising champions to just help us um, reach the target that we that we need. Um, there are lots of crowdfunding platforms. Um, the one that I think, um, if we went this way, that we should use would be would be GoFundMe.com. Um, they've managed to raise an enormous nine billion. Um, for inspirational campaigns um, since they started, which is which is incredible. Um, I think it's uh, 2017 um, individual charitable donations was was at four percent, and they'd raised something like 360 um, billion, which which um, surpassed kind of um, 
corporate funding. Um, so it really is possible through through this um, through this avenue. We then need to set a fundraising goal. And once we've teased out what the science research project looks like, we'll have a better idea of, of, um, of what that figure might be. But um, just, to, just to give you an idea. So um, during the talk that I was on recently, Dr. Karen Mustian from the University of Rochester Medical Center um, was talking about the, the one of the, the bigger um, yoga for cancer studies that she carried out. It was yoga for the management of cancer treatment related toxic toxicities. Um, and that had 400 and, um, 410 participants and cost, she mentioned that it cost 1.6 million. Um, um, so my, my thinking is that if we, if we crowdfund and we just look at the we, we just look at the um, global yoga community. There are said to be 300 million people who do yoga. I'm sure, I'm sure it's probably far greater than that actually. But if we just got 1% of the global yoga community to, to back this, we could potentially looking at 3 million pounds or $3.8 million. And that is huge. And we could do so much with that. Um, and that is just looking at the yoga community. If, we take on into, into account all the other amazing mind body interventions as well and 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 look at them as well we could end up raising a lot of money for this area um and just get the research that we so desperately need um for this and then once we've teased out what the science looks like we've got our fundraising goal we can then tell our story and i put something together um again using the um um, campaign tagline in our hands um, and I'm just going to read it to you so the, the the messaging would could be something like this join our lo our global community and help crowdfund a multi-centered large-scale clinical study into mind body interventions and help pave the way for a healthier more grounded and vibrant world the research will be funded and owned by us the people and my idea is that we all contribute the same nobody contributes more um, we all contribute, say, one pound, um, which is achievable and affordable for, for, for many. Um, we all know the healing potential of um, mind-body interventions, whether it's yoga, tai chi, movement therapy, sound therapy, or meditation, but we need funding for more evidence-based research. And whether you work in integrated health or you are a keen advocate, let's join forces and help fund the science on these amazing ancient healing interventions. Um, join us now. Um, so that's what it could look like. Um, I, I, I would be so. Um, oh, this just it, it inspires me with a lot of hope, especially at a time when when we have a global pandemic out there, and um, this just this just makes me feel hopeful that maybe there's um, there is something we can do, and um, we can we can create a, um, a healthier. Um, more grounded world. Um, I truly believe that integrated health deserves a seat at the table alongside conventional um, treatments, but that will really only happen when um, we get the large scale scientific um, studies. Um, and I think a crowdfunded approach presents a brilliant um, opportunity um, to, to not only raise the money that we need, but to help raise awareness on these amazing um, mind-body interventions um, to, the, to the public. Um, and like I say, pave the way for a healthier, more grounded um, and vibrant world. Um, thank you. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to take them. Thank you, Josie. <laughs> New idea to the table. Can you unshare your slides so we can yes, I will. see you in full view? Thanks. So that's a great idea. And uh, uh, we've never had this kind of uh, uh, you know, a suggestion which is more applicable to bringing our thoughts on the ground and we need action. And we've been talking of yoga, mind-body medicine, of preventive aspects, the economics of it. And you mentioned that lady, I forget her name, who talked about the cancer. Karen Mastian. Karen yeah. Mastian. yeah, she was in that meeting also mentioning and she's already working in that direction. So definitely if there is money, you can do better charity you can do better research. And you bring in the idea of multi-centric trials, which is so important for 
making the evidence uh, from the mind body intervention so yoga intervention it is yeah uh, more evidence based and more uh, scient- more full of scientific rigor so let me ask you a few questions that the audience might have they may not even have uh, confronted with this term crowdfunding how is it different from the corporates or the government funding can government also pitch in and will that still be called crowdfunding from the term it's it seems crowds and you you mentioned that the 300 million community has uh, if they contribute 1 pound each so we have a lot of money so apparently the global citizens have to fund a research trial is that what you mean you want that's, to that's 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 correct yeah. um government per se i it's not that they can't individuals within within governments could by all means contribute but it's more um it's more about harnessing um a social network who have come together over a, um a common cause who who want to who believe in in what you're trying to do and and then happy to to donate so it's more of an individual based donation as opposed to um a government you know led thing and you gave a very good example of uh... Uh, go gofunding.com uh, right that's yeah. the, they raised up to 9 billion so what they they have which is which is which is incredible which is yes. it, it really is and there are some amazing stories of people who um you know put their in, inspiring campaigns out there there was the one 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 girl actually quite a young girl maybe 7 or 8 who had the idea of um she wanted multicultural crayons within her school because there wasn't a color there who rep- that represented her skin and and her idea was that actually let's let's get multicultural crayons and books with diversity into into schools and she has raised 50,000 she I target is 50,000 i think she's already raised 40,000 you know so it's 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 really it's the cheese if people really believe in your cause then 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 they will back it and i think yeah. we have yeah. so many people who believe in integrated health that i, I with the right with the right um story to tell and the right research behind it i think people will will back it yeah that's a very <laughs> good idea and i think this makes sense uh, otherwise scientists and uh, investigators as they call it who look for evidence and do research traditionally go to a grant agency or a funding agency they right. write a grant and you know put it up and the reviewers review it and they select uh, 3 to 4% maybe 10% of the applications and they fund it and mm-hmm. they have a, of course a defined period in which to uh, deliver the deliverables the objectives of the study but this this is an absolutely fresh idea where it becomes a people's movement also unites unifies the global community as you call yeah, it completely it? completely and i think like, people like backing people like backing a project like like this and feel like they they're part of the the solution to a problem and it's a real you know chronic illness is a, is a real global problem so and uh, would you like to say what the benefits and challenges would be there are benefits i can look at as a scientist i mentioned in your yeah. introduction that there is no uh, probable pressure uh, that if someone is funding you or you have to you know submit your progress report to that organization and me maybe may be influenced by what the funders say but this is going to be crowdfunding so it's apolitical and there are there more benefits you visualize and are there challenges you see in making it happen there 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 there, there are there are there's um you obviously you don't have the same barriers that you would normally have through through government funding and and corporate funding um it's it, it's very it's very quick you know you could start you could start a crowdfunding page now you know and get people backing you um uh like I said funds can be raised quickly um but also i think the um you you just you just down to raise awareness and um enlarge your 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 reach um when you when you crowd fund um one of the challenges i guess is is you know as it would be with any with any sort of government funding as well is is that you you would stipulate a timeline we want to get this done by by xyz and then that doesn't always happen so um while you're not held accountable there is there you, you've got you you have a responsibility to to keep your fundees um up to date with with what's going on and if anything shifts and 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 things like that so that would be a potential challenge but but it would it would obviously be the same on the other side as i as i said um and then i, I you know i guess i guess one of the challenges is maybe maybe not being able to raise um as much as you 
perhaps would do through corporate funding or government funding. Um, but I am hopeful that um, we can. <laughs> the other challenge is how to manage that. How to manage the money and how to uh, allocate it to the different resources, whether this is, so, but you said that if, if this is oriented towards just multi-centric trials, then the objective is clear that you're going to use it for research. Yes, uh, exactly. And you know research yeah. will involve some human resource, maybe some chemicals or uh, some internet or uh, digital related expenses. So those are very clearly defined. But if, if the crowdfunding is uh, not so specific, maybe it will be difficult to manage the funds. There is chance that this may be misused. But if it is clearly meant for a cause such as you proposed, multi-centric study for uh, mind-body intervention in diabetes or for cancer. Then um, people know where the money is, is, yeah, is going the to be invested. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any plans uh, up your sleeves <laughs> you want to tell the audience? Do I have any what, sorry? Plans to take this thought forward to the ground? Well, if, 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 if people want to back it and and we can get that that a scope of the most compelling um, study done that that is is going to make is is going to change the you know the way that integrated um, health is is viewed then 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 let's let's do that and let's get the let's get the um, parameters defined and and then let's start establishing a global community and I'm I'm happy to set up the the, the GoFund page and um, and launch it and and see and see where where we get and I I think uh, I don't think we can we can wait I think and and that's why I wanted the two prong approach because because there's there is no reason to to wait for for the for the results of the study we need to we need to start doing something now basically and, and responsibility you seem to be very I think this would be a great idea and our journal can. We will support your cause and be happy to take this forward. And the scientists or the investigators right. who take this up will be excited, super excited because they know it's the money is coming from the the people around us. So yes, they will be more exactly. enthused to mm. deliver, and they'll be excited every day that everyone's watching and waiting. Exactly, and exactly. And especially the three hundred million. Did you say three hundred million? I said yeah, 300 million. Well, there's 300 million um, uh, within the global yoga community. So yeah. I'm just saying, if we get one percent of, of of that of that, yeah. then then we would be able to to do something, fund something incredible within this area. Yeah, yeah. And I, I look at it from the scientific zeal and the creativity and productivity, because for a routine corporate funded grant or just a government grant for a project or a multi-centric trial, you are pretty much restricted by uh, the funder and the deadlines. And mm. the, the uh, I would say the, the emotional quotient or you know, the social yes. network quotient is lacking. And this yes. will actually put the, 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 if I would to use the word fire in the belly or maybe yes, exactly. you know, invigorate and put that enthusiasm and the, because it's going to be multi-centric, I assume this is going to be multinational. The yes, people exactly. across the country will unify and will also with that emotional caution and intellectual caution to put that work. Let's do that and say we hope completely. Really yes, and, we should, should we? I'm sure there are a lot of people watching here and I can see that uh, and there are some common wonderful ideas, uh, greetings and there are people watching and we'll have their uh, comments and I encourage Josie to please after the program is over please visit the page and reply to the comments that they have made and as we are coming close to uh, this very short session we just wanted to uh, let the viewers know of this new brilliant idea and I'm sure this will set the ro uh, ball rolling and we'll now close the program and we on behalf of Yoga Scholar thank you for uh, thank you. coming live with us this is a late night at Singapore thank you for making it and we'll stay connected. Pleasure. Yeah, we will do. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.